from the costumes of the theater to the costumes of the past at Erich Castle in Kent. Here, where children are playing in the grounds in costumes of the 1850s, two wings of the castle have been loaned to Mrs. Doris Langley Moore to house one of the most complete collections of historical costumes in the world. Known as the Museum of Costume and opened by the Queen Mother, the collection is on show daily to the public. Unlike most museums, the costumes are not kept under glass, but on realistic models. Magnificent is the only word for a dress like this, made in gold brocade in 1740, typical of the extravagant fashions of more elaborate times. At the turn of the 18th century, men who value their ease took it elegantly from the tops of their turbans to the tips of their button slippers. Under his casual dressing gown, a gaily embroidered waistcoat, the inspiration perhaps of certain styles today. A gallant with the ladies, admired, no doubt, for his dashing uniform, a deputy lieutenant of the county in the 1850s. Altogether, there are 10,000 costumes in the collection showing how fashions have changed and when styles emerged. The knitted suits of 1920, for example, and the beaded dress of the Charleston crazy year. Not just the costumes, but the manners and gestures of the past as well, when Montmorency really tripped along down to the sea. 